Hi everyone. So we are back after a long time. I don't even know how long it's been. Since our last YouTube was probably a few good few months. Probably like half a year, maybe. Even more. Yeah. Today's video is actually a bit of a different one. It's going to be a good one though, so you need to keep watching. That's so weird. <laughs> During COVID, Josh has actually started his own clothing business. So this is basically an intro um, and we asked for some questions over on Josh's Instagram, which is... Mm. It's, well, I'll put it on the screen up here, but it's at chart.clothinguk. Yeah. Um, so we asked some questions, going to answer them, going to talk about just a few other pieces. Mm. So do you want to yeah. hit it off? So a little intro about the brand. I set it up, it's called Cha, which cha translates to tea in English. I have a real passion for Mandarin, the language, the culture, and have studied it for, I think about six or seven years now. She had the initial idea when I was a, on a trip, a family holiday in San Francisco, Chinatown last year. Well, not the Chinatown specifically, but that's where <laughs> the idea- in Yeah, I love the Chinatown. And we were actually sat in a tea shop and they were just bringing all these little blends of leaves and all this stuff and I just loved it. It fits with the culture, it fits with the Mandarin and that's where Cha was born. As Jess just said, we, we asked for some questions on the Instagram so I think if we just get going on I'll some of the questions. Yeah, I'll ask a couple questions. And thank you for, for those that did ask. Okay, the first question is, are you the sole owner of Cha? So I am the sole owner, that's correct. Um, and at this stage, I, I don't really have any plans to change that, although I hope as it grows, I will He'll employ, employ me. yeah, <laughs> get some people involved and just expand as I grow. Okay, this is a good one. How long since you've like started? So it took probably about half a year of designing, planning, since I had the initial idea of Cha until launching it. And then I launched it about just under five months ago. So in total, it's been just under a year. But since launching, it's been just under five months. Mm. Like a normal day in the life of, of a business owner. For those of you that do follow the Instagram, you will have seen I do a few day in the life. So if you haven't checked that out, a general day, it, it can vary because I am a, well, we're both students, as you probably know. I tend to prioritise cha over the university. Which work, probably which is, isn't great. But... <laughs> probably not the best idea. Although... I, I just have a real passion for it and a normal day would consist of a lot of social media. It's all about engaging with followers and trying to post good, meaningful content and just constantly looking at trends, coming up with new designs. TikTok. Tip, loads of TikTok, which are cringy, but I actually hit about 30,000 followers on there. So check that out as well. And it's just general, general admin stuff. So it's packaging orders sending off orders, keeping the receipts, doing Excel spreadsheets, all that stuff, social media, content creation, but yeah. And then the uni work after that. Yeah, that just comes in at the end. Which is like, once I've gone to bed. <laughs> your designs for your hoodies and your t-shirts, where mm. do you get the designs from? How do you come up with them? How do you create them? When I think of a, a design that I like, or if I'm preparing for a new collection, preparing for a new item, I will, which you are. Which I am. Collection <laughs> two is on its way. If you keep watching, we might. Maybe a sneak peek. peek at the end. Who knows? Honestly, it's just a case of opening up a, a notepad, grabbing a pen or a pencil, and just jotting down some ideas, drawing a hoodie, and just designing loads of different things, testing colours, looking at different palettes, what I think is going to be in trend for, say, spring coming up, and just going from there, really. It then goes through a whole sampling phase where I'll get different materials. Which takes the longest. Which takes definitely. ages, especially since COVID. So there's different materials I have to look at, different um, finishes, finishes? <laughs> finishes. So drawstrings, embroidery, prints, vinyl, all that sort of stuff. And then there is the wash Labeling. test, labels, everything needs needs um, there is a lot more than you think considering that <laughs> there really is mm. it is you've got to really be on top of it oh do you think there's a difference between like launching a clothing brand during covid <laughs> and then like normal times like do you think it's been more yeah. difficult why, why has it been more difficult mm. it's, it's actually a good question and i think i think i actually did a podcast with one of my university lecturers and it's interesting because covid has been the best thing for me and also the worst thing at the same time so I'll explain. 
The reason I think it's been the best and for starting the brand is that I've had a lot of time. And also, can I just add in, oh. I don't think you actually would have started this no. if you if it wasn't Definitely COVID. not. If you was at uni full time, there's yeah. no way you would have you would have been mm -hmm. able to launch it. Where I think COVID has been a challenge for the brand or for me is that everyone's in lockdown, everyone's been in their own houses and yeah. the orders and stuff has been great. Although I just wish people were wearing cha out and about at parties, around to friends' houses. And house, that's no fault of Friends' your own. houses. No. So I think once you weigh it up, yeah. the pros have definitely outweighed the negatives. Um, and hopefully, once lockdown's over soon, everyone will be wearing it out and about. And it's good stuff. Yeah. What is that your visions for the future? Like what, where do you see cha going? <laughs> um, so, visions for the future is another good question. Do you want I, it to stay an online brand? Do you want to open mm, a pop up shop? I think that the online presence and e commerce, especially since the start of COVID, has just rocketed. There are so no many. No one goes out anymore. Even no, one goes could, out. no one goes out to go shopping. Uh, maybe that is because we're still in lockdown, kind of. Yeah. I can't really justify an in store presence at the minute. Obviously, if I could have a pop up in well-known stores and try and organize that as a one-off thing that would definitely be something i'd look out for but i just intend on keeping um keeping a really fast paced clothing line yet also have it as almost like a more of a slow fashion rather than a fast fashion but keeping new designs keep innovating limited styles limited collections and just go from there what like piece of advice would you give to someone mm -hmm. that wants to start up their new brand it's a good question. It's a new small mm. business. Again, small businesses are on the rise. There's no question about that. Yeah. Um, and those of you that do have small businesses, it's because I'm slow fashion as well. It's such yeah. like a, there's such an emphasis on like slow fashion, and slow sustainable fashion. Yeah. like purchasing and mm. stuff. And like I think that people that. are slowly moving away from that really fast fashion. But going back to the advice for small businesses, I would just say it's kind of what we've been saying. Just go for it. Honestly, just. If you've got an idea, and the thing is, is if you have an idea and you revisit that idea in say a week, you will know if it's a good idea or you should leave it. I've, I've had, how many business ideas have I had? Every two seconds. Every two seconds, another business idea. There should be an app for that. There should be an app for that, there should be this. There. Um, the, probably 20 minutes later, I'll be like, Actually, no. that is just an awful well, idea. Like, that already exists. So have a USP. Which is? A unique selling point. Make sure you do stand out from the crowd. Something that you haven't seen before, I think, is really important. Definitely. I would say follow people that have that have experienced your journey and you can gain valuable um, feedback from them. For example, probably the biggest inspiration for me and most other small clothing brands at, at the minute is Ben Francis and Gymshark because his journey's just been incredible. And he just got it absolutely right. And I just watched Ben's YouTube videos. He recommended some books to read and I've actually... And I never read, do I? Never. Never read. I actually bought one of the books and I'm about halfway through it now. And it's just eye-opening and it gives you that motivation that you need. And following someone like that on YouTube, on Instagram, just gives you that constant and his motivation. Marketing, like Gymshark marketing yeah. is amazing. I think that mm -hmm. is a huge thing, especially because nowadays small businesses you're not going to get them in shop like they're not going to have shops really it's all mm. online yeah so you need good marketing for people to see your stuff that's a good think, very good definitely. point it's all about marketing nowadays yeah. it is all about i mean if you think that how many people are in the uk 60 million people in the uk literally sat at home on their phones, on their phones. so what yeah. makes your advert stand out from the rest why should people buy my clothing brand rather than x y and z yeah and that's the important that's the important thing so stand out be unique, have a USP and then just go for it. One thing that I think is really important in like a brand and especially small business is sustainability. Um, so do you wanna just like give a little bit mm. about that? On kind of what we're doing to be, or I always say we're, but me basically. Yeah. I always think about trying to be as sustainable as possible. A lot of smaller startup brands just use so much plastic. So each item will be in a plastic film, which will then be in a plastic mailer bag, which will use plastic labels, plastic stickers, yeah. plastic this. You've put um, like a lot of work into, into looking for things. I've tried to minimize plastic in every angle possible. One of the main things that I'm quite proud of within Cha, in terms of the sustainability is that where possible, the garments are PETA vegan approved, organic cotton, and is sourced in, a, in an ethical way. 
and that's something I want to maintain and I want to keep throughout more collections, collection two, collection two and just the future. It's definitely yeah. up here. That's all the questions, but now we're gonna just show you basically all the original items that Josh brought out um, and we're gonna do some try on clips on the side, yeah? Yeah, let's go. Okay. This is the chamomile hoodie. Um, and to be honest, this is probably my personal favorite yeah. because it's- all, all photos are your own. Yeah, all the photos on it. So this Chinese drive, this is taken in San Francisco, Chinatown. Yeah. Some Mandarin here, which translates to the fortune cookie factory in San Francisco. Yeah. And then this coordinate on the sleeve, which I don't know if you can see, <laughs> is the San Francisco Chinatown coordinates as well. Yeah. And, and this, this the, the quality of this hoodie is amazing. Like, yeah, the, the, honestly, really the nice. quality of the stuff is literally, I'm not even being biased, mm. it's so good. So the next one is actually what Jess is repping right now. This yeah. is the chai hoodie. Sorry if I'm cutting you off one sec. <laughs> <laughs> Which has the black on black embroidery and the massive cha print on here. And this is actually sold really well. This translates to tea, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. This, this so this means, well, the singular in, one in means different tea. different colours, yeah. Um, and it's just... This is my favourite, by the way. This yeah. is my favourite item from the entire collection, hence why I wear it so much, because I literally love it. So the next two, we'll do two in one. Here we've got the Earl um, cap, just a simple black cap. This is the gunpowder white t-shirt, which is just like a heavyweight cotton, but Classic. really nice. Everyone always needs a white t-shirt. Everyone right? always needs a white yeah. t-shirt, don't they? This is called black tea. Um, and this is actually one of Pun my favourites. Yes, definitely pun intended. Um, again, so black tea. And the reason I like this one so much is the back. Um, again, this is a photo I took in San Francisco Chinatown. And it's just such a nice quality. A nice heavyweight for, I mean, I released this again about five months ago. So for the winter, for lockdown, it's been a really nice yeah. heavyweight cotton. And especially going into like spring, you can yeah, wear again. this without yeah. a jacket and like you know that awkward weather where it's like kind of hot kind of cold yeah do you know what i mean you can wear this by itself the next ones are the beanies two beanies so this actually is the can raspberry. i just say i was actually very um fortunate to get my hands on this because <laughs> i literally these got flew out. the second i got the second to last one mm. and these are out of stock now yeah if you want it back let us mm -hmm. I say let us know, I'm not even... Well, let us know, let me know, whatever. But <laughs> Write in the comments because yeah. Josh said that you are willing to, to bring it back if there's enough demand, mm -hmm. right? Looking good. <laughs> um, two different colourways, so the grey and yellow. This is the Darjeeling. Yeah. And this is the raspberry. Exciting. <laughs> it was actually a black on black hoodie, so it was literally just a black hoodie with black embroidery. And it sold out so quickly that Josh hasn't even got any to show you. I don't have any. He doesn't even have stock of his own. I don't have any. Um, and they're really nice as well. That was the Is little... it on the website? Yeah, it's on the website. So still. if you have a look on the website, um, we'll, also, drop the, we'll drop the link. Yeah, we'll put the link below. And if you like have any items, colours that you think you'd like to see, definitely like Josh is really open to, mm. to your ideas. That was the Lapsang Suchong, um, which is gone. Sold out. Sorry about that. <laughs> Next penultimate item is this licorice hoodie, which I did mention before with the Chinese text on the pocket here. And the it's like a navy dark blue embroidery. And this is actually sold out. This is probably one of my favorites again. Moving on to the last item, which probably, Can I, I keep say, saying I'm one of my I'm favorite. obsessed with these. I don't know why. Everyone is obsessed with these. Yeah. So if you've not got your hands on them, <laughs> just honestly, just go and get them right now. Oolong socks. These are incredibly comfy. I actually oh God, can't. Honestly, I, I can't express how comfy they are. Yeah, I, I went for a run in them the other day and look at the padding even, on that. Didn't get a blister, like no signs of a blister, anything. I don't know why they're so comfy, but they they're literally insane. So the yeah, the, they're padded on the sole along the sole, and they're just simple white socks with the logo, but running downwards. To end the video, I would just like to say thank you very much to everyone on my socials, particularly TikTok, Instagram, and just for making this we'll happen. We'll link everything down. We'll right? link everything. If you go and follow it, I'd love you to just follow the journey. I'm posting on LinkedIn. I'm posting regular updates. And just drop drop us down some comments of what you want to see us do. Or if you've got any suggestions about chat, about the clothes, any designs, any colours, anything like that, I'm you know, always open to having a chat. 
or just hearing your feedback. For those of you that are still here and haven't actually clicked off the video yet, you are in for a treat, my friends. Let's throw in a little, really small sneak peek at one of our items from Collection 2, which is hopefully coming in weeks now. You haven't got a final date yet, but... Not a final date, but keep your eyes peeled on the Instagram. This collection's a lot more summery, which I love. Definitely. I'm really excited go about on, it. Go on, go on. Okay, so we'll end the video here, I think. Yeah. We'll just give you a little sneak peek. I'll just show you the very corner, the very edge. <laughs> That's what you're getting. So stay cool tuned, colors. follow the Instagram, yeah. and get ready for collection two. Thank you for watching. Collection two. Bye. Bye. Bye.